everyone in this video we are going to discuss about the importance of the universal law of gravitation so first of all let us see what was the universal law of gravitation now this law of gravitation states that every object in this universe attracts every other object with a force which is proportional to the product of their masses and is inversely proportional to the distance between these two objects inversely proportional to the square of the distance between these two objects okay now let's say we have two objects like two balls here football and the tennis ball uh, it has a mass of capital m and the tennis ball has a mass of small m let's say and d is the distance between these two balls now according to the universal law of gravitation the force that is the gravitational force between these two objects equals g capital m into small m divided by d squared where g equals a constant which is known as the universal gravitational constant which has a value of 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 newton meter squared per kg squared now this value of g shows the strength of the gravitational force of attraction between any two bodies in the whole universe now this law is known as the universal law of gravitation since it encompasses or it val it is valid in any corner of this universe or any two objects in this whole universe so this law is such a law which applies to any of the bodies any two bodies or any number of bodies in this whole universe it is such a generic law now g here which is the universal gravitational constant is independent of the medium between the two objects and also it is independent of the masses of the two objects so this was the universal law of gravitation now we'll be looking at some importance of this gravitational law now the first thing that this force of gravity does to us is to keep us bound to the surface of the earth we all know that we are bound to the surface of the earth and that is because of the force of gravity that earth exerts onto all the objects around it now had, uh, if we just withdraw this gravitational force somehow then we will not be landing on this earth we will be floating here and there so it is the gravitational force of earth which is which is exerted onto all the objects on it and because of which we stay bound to the surface of the earth now it, the gravitational force is also responsible for the motion of moon around the earth we all know that moon orbits around the earth in more or less a circular orbit and this happens also because of the gravitational force or gravitational pull of the earth itself now this gravitational force in this case is what we call as the centripetal force which acts when an object moves in a circular motion around any other object so this gravitational force this sup uh, force supplies the required centripetal force for the moon to revolve around the earth in this kind of an orbit and this force has a uh, direction which is towards the center of the earth and is along the radius of this circular orbit at any point be it this point or this point it the force will be towards the center of the earth and is along the radius so the gravitational force between the earth and the moon keeps the moon in a uniform circular motion around the uh, around the earth again the motion of the planets around the sun is also because of this gravitational force now we know that all these planets in the solar system orbit around the sun in more or less circular orbits and even the concept of centripetal force works in this case now this amount of centripetal force is also supplied by the gravitational force or gravitational pull that sun exerts onto all these planets which are revolving around it so the, it is this gravitational force between the sun and the planets which keeps the all the planets moving in a uniform circular motion around it now another thing that we notice uh, here on the earth is the tides 
Now we all know what are tides. Tides are the uh, water level which has been raised or lowered. Now here the tides formed in the sea by the raising and lowering of the water level in the sea is also due to the gravitational force. Now this gravitational force is exerted by the sun and the moon. It is a combined effect of the moon and the sun. Gravi uh, sun's gravitational force onto this earth. Now this gravitational attraction is the one which is responsible for the water level rising or lowering and this results in the formation of tides. So we have looked at some points where uh, we see the importance of the universal law of gravitation or more or less the importance of the gravitational force about which the universal law of gravitation talks about. So with this we have reached the end of this video and I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.